hey, you know that I'm always looking out for you, right? Like, you, you know I'm your boy. I'm the type of dude that I want to keep your money inside your own wallet while still ensuring that you look good. That's why I started the $100 challenge. That's why I've showed you that you can dress good from Walmart and beat outfits that are built from Hugo Boss. That's the type of style that I want you to pull off. Style that you look good, you feel good, but <laughs> your money's still in your pocket. Now, to do that, I'm going to do the same thing today. Today, I'm going to show you set. Oh, whoa. Seven creative ways that you can grab old clothing, repurpose it to make it look trendy, and make it new again. Pretty much means that everything that you have in your wardrobe, you can reuse, and all these tips are completely free. So if that sounds interesting, let's hop into it. Number one, you know those old dirty sneakers that you probably want to get rid of, you never use because they're, well, they're disgusting? Don't do that just yet. Just bring them back to life. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is clean them up. Now you can find cleaning kits all around. I like to use different ones. This one in particular is one of my favorite ones. I use it all the time and it gets the job done. Once you have them cleaned up, you can do two things that are completely gonna change the aesthetic of the shoes. One is replace the laces. Laces, no matter how much you clean them, they still have a dirty tint to them. So if you buy brand new white ones, it's gonna make the shoe pop and look almost brand new. On top of that, you can replace the insoles. The insoles sometimes end up stinking and also lose a lot of the support, which makes the shoes uncomfortable. So upgrading to better insoles that have more cushion, more support, and also make them look newer and not as smelly, revives the shoe, makes it look amazing, and it's a shoe that you now want to wear. Plus, since they're worn in, they're gonna be super comfortable with these new insoles. Number two, add a simple necklace. You see, boys, a lot of times it's not about what you do with the clothing, but what you add on top of it. Think of it like a cake, right? The cake, the base of the cake, the batter, it tastes great. You don't have to change anything, but what you got to do is maybe just change the icing or add a little more design to the icing to make the cake appealing. It's the same thing with your style, boys. Sometimes a basic t-shirt and jeans is just right. You don't have to change the wheel, but adding something simple like an extra detail like a necklace that in itself makes the t-shirt pop. It makes it look different than what you regularly would wear and automatically you look more trendy and stylish. Now, if you have already an accessory collection, you're good to go. Again, this is a free tip, but if you don't, this is what I've told you so many times, you need to invest in accessories like the ones from Rose Gold and Black. And honestly, boys, if you've ever wanted to buy Rose Gold and Black, this is the month to do so. Right now, November, as you know, this is holiday season, so a lot of these brands, they're, they're putting everything on discount, and that's what Rose Gold and Black is doing now. Obviously, I shouldn't be telling you this, but right now, for November, they're doing an early Black Friday sale, which means that if you've ever wanted to revamp your accessory collection, this is the time to do so, because for this whole month, and only this month alone, they're having a 40% off sale just for you guys for the entire month on everything you see. So if you click the link down below and go to the Rose Gold and Black site right now, everything that you see on the site will be heavily discounted 40% off, which is completely insane to think, almost 50%, including free worldwide shipping, which honestly, boys, if you don't take this offer now, I don't think they're ever gonna do a sale this massive. Now they're calling it their early Black Friday sale, which means that not a lot of people have access to this. Right now, they just restocked a lot of their popular items that tend to sell out really fast and also added new beaded collections to it. So if you haven't been to Rose Gold and Black, click that link down below. Take advantage of that massive sale right now because the jewelry is crazy affordable and they got free worldwide shipping. So wherever you are, they're gonna ship it completely free. If you guys wanna check that out, click that link down below. Number three. Blown out knees. Now, as you know, when it comes to denim, some of the most trendy denim right now are jeans that have their knees completely blown out. When to find good blown out jeans, you're gonna have to be paying close to 100 or 150 bucks, which I don't want you to. I want you to put that money back in your wallet. So, denim that you already have at home that it's already looks a little old but fits nice and tight, and grab a steak knife. That's right, a steak knife. The knife that has a lot of like jagged edges, this is the type of knife you want because you're gonna throw on those jeans with a Sharpie, you're gonna draw your natural knee line, like where your knees naturally end at your jeans, and then grab that steak knife and cut a straight line through that Sharpie. 
The reason you want a steak knife is because it's gonna cause this jagged line to form and as you wash and wear these jeans, the blown out needs are gonna start to become distressed and it's gonna look natural and almost like a high-end designer made them and you paid 150 bucks for it, but in reality, you did it completely at home. Number four, tailor your pants. This is the easiest way to revamp an old pair of pants, jeans, or chinos that you probably don't wear and make them look trendy. I can't stress enough the power of having a good tailor around and how they can change your wardrobe. A lot of times, there's old pants in my wardrobe that maybe I've never used, they just look too classic or I don't like the aesthetic of them and as soon as you tailor them, now they look like modern trousers that you can wear constantly whether it's with sneakers or dress pants that look completely different. Number five, turning a regular hoodie into what I call a boxing hoodie. This is when you have a hoodie that you probably haven't worn in a while, you don't like the aesthetic, maybe it fits too big or it's just getting old and you revamp it into something that feels new again. The easiest way to do that is to just chop the sleeves off like you would on a regular t-shirt. Now, the cool thing with this is that it gives it more of an athletic vibe, more of a boxing vibe to it. So if you wanna use that to hit the gym to sweat and also look good, make your arms look good, that's great too. Or I've even seen it being worn in streetwear situations. The cool part is that it's an unexpected piece that you probably wouldn't buy regularly. And if you would, like you see here, you're paying two to $300 because that's what high-end designers are charging for. Number six, turning a regular dress shirt into a club collar shirt. This is an easy hack that anybody can do and again, you could probably go right now, look into your closet and look for a dress shirt that you haven't worn in months. Now this is an easy hack for you to do. Now you can take it to the tailor to make the club collar cut completely clean or you could do it from your home with a sharp pair of scissors. When you do this, you're gonna end up with frayed edges which in my opinion, I actually like because it ends up looking even more casual and the more you wear it, the more distressed the collar itself looks. So when you wear it on a regular basis, you can pair this with shorts, chinos or jeans for super casual looks on a piece that you stopped wearing that looks or makes your outfits look more trendy. And then finally, number seven, boys, turning your jeans into jorts. Now, this is where you take your regular jeans, again, that you don't wear anymore, and then you turn them into shorts. Now, the only thing that you're gonna want to avoid here is to avoid that the jeans fit super tight from the thigh because if you end up turning them into shorts, they're gonna look stupid. Like, you're gonna tell they used to be jeans. You want the shorts from the thigh to fit perfectly to the point that they're not baggy or also super skin tight. Now, why I like, now when you do this, again, kind of like the steak knife, you can use a steak knife, but you can also use just regular scissors. The more you wear them and wash them, the better they feel because they're gonna start fitting your body better and they're gonna start distressing at least the frayed area more and more, which is just gonna give the aesthetic of the George a more natural look that if you end up looking online, designers will charge you hundreds for a style like this. That's pretty much it for this week's video, guys. Those are seven creative ways to repurpose old clothing to make it look trendy. If you guys liked this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, boys, don't forget that Rose Gold and Black is having an early Black Friday sale that I would not skip out on. 40% is insane. I'd click the link down below and take advantage of that now. If you guys liked this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. That's it for me today. See you next time.